Yeah. It's incredibly quiet. Yes, yeah, so you're so lucky. Last time I came, it was you couldn't get a seat. Uh, my what flight. Oh, oh. Uh, Maybe it's uh, midnight. Probably, midnight. yeah. Yes. Is it more busy then? Thank you. Thank you. Please monitor your flight. No boarding announcement. Okay. Thank you. Now, last time I came here, it was absolutely jam-packed. Um, there is three lounges in uh, Terminal 3, uh, Mahabharat uh, lounges. This one is the best out of the three. It's on uh, Concourse uh, A. This is a much nicer one. You've got somewhere to sleep. Uh, these are private uh, lounges. And, oh, you've got a book. You've got somewhere where you can... No, they do have sleeping pods here as well. So that's the smoking room to my right. And then you've got the bathrooms. And then these are uh, reserved for the elite members. There's only three people, uh, including me, in the whole land. to grab a seat here I think but I'll have a walk around and show you what the land is like okay, well, there's a charging point there so I'm gonna dump my bag there got some sweet on there actually I might sit over there instead that could be a better place since it's empty. Venezuela government president wins again. Never seen anyone use mm. these. Uh, you got to reserve. Now there is a sleeping pod. I think that's just one, isn't it? So you must lay flat that way. Uh, if you check out in the description, uh, and sleep. I'll put in there. There's a uh, very close to here. A uh, another lounge where you can sleep. Let's see what we have. Now these muffins are really nice, delicious. Uh, they actually have some other stuff as well normally. Oh, it's in the other lounge. Where? Fruit sandwiches, apples, and a plate. Hi. No, it's all right, I'm just gonna look around, thank you. Those are really nice. Are you chain? Yes, That's lunch. fine, I'll wait for lunch, it's fine. So I'm going to wait for the lunch to start. And I'm actually going to move here, I think. Because the charging points are a lot closer. Mm -hmm. so from this dining area here, it overlooks the gates. Um, I'm not sure what gate number that is. Over there you've got an Emirates, um, I think it's a 777, yeah, Boeing 777-300. Ah, A3. That's gate A3. So my gate is actually just down there. I'm on A4. So I'm not far from my gate unless they change the gate. So it's quite convenient always check the gates here because they're constantly changing them 
so you must be careful. Now they don't announce the uh, gates here over the tannoy, so check the uh, boards. Um, if you don't already have uh, an app on your phone where it will tell you uh, what gate you're on. So there's a board here just as on the entrance. Uh, a wall of love. I don't remember seeing this before. These are all people's love Argentina, Scotland. All you need is love, Russia. I love first class. I love Mahaba. Uh, a lot of it looks like it's been written by children. See you again soon, UAE. Maybe I should put a message here. Nav was here. I'm going to miss you, Dubai. I'm not. Right, so they have changed the lunch menu now. So let's see what we have. Steamed rice, vegetable tikka, steamed vegetables, mushroom, vegetable tikka, uh, mushrooms not suitable for vegetarians, macaroni, chicken biryani, mm. lamb tagine. Well, that looks quite nice. Cheese and tomato. Oh no, that's over there, isn't it? Oh, actually, that looks quite nice as well. Right, I'm going to grab something to eat. So while my coffee's being made, I'm going to grab a couple of muffins. Is that chocolate? I think I'll have fruit one. And then we've got some bread here as well. Worth getting um, a lounge pass, I think, um, if you've got a longer layover, especially Dubai is um, becoming quite a popular uh, destination for uh, changes, um, connection flights. So definitely worth getting a pass. Um, I've got another just over three hours before my flight, but they usually start boarding an hour beforehand. So I'll stay here for about two hours. I did go to the sleep uh, lounge but the air conditioning wasn't working there and it was stiflingly hot so I decided to come here early I was going to stick there for two hours then come here and grab some lunch and then get to my flight but I decided to come here it's much cooler here as well and actually a lot better uh, nice and quiet so uh, if anyone's um, coming to Dubai um, check out the lounges anyone coming to Dubai be warned the people here are terrible uh, security is a nightmare and they will take your passport and demand you do whatever they say or you're not going to get in the flight. Never come through, through Dubai if you can, but if you do, use the um, lounges. It's very expensive food outside. Um, I think what I've got here, I mean, I can eat as much as I want. That's the good thing about lounges. I've, this is just, I'm going to eat this. And then if I wanted, I could eat the same thing again. I could get a beer, I could get some more soft drinks, whatever else I wanted. It's all unlimited. Uh, you are limited for three hours in the lounge, uh, which is plenty of time to be honest. Um, but within that time, you can chill out, sleep. They do say three hours, but I've actually stayed in the lounges more than four hours without anyone sort of saying anything. So it's just one of those things they've got. You can only stay a maximum of uh, three hours, but no one's going to kick you out. Uh, so just be aware of that. Uh, anybody wants any more information about other lounges? I've got. Um, in my videos uh, some of the lounge um, I've reviewed 
check them out if you're going to some other countries and thank you for watching